you forgot to rotate your tires, the alignment is out of spec, or you've hit something in the road. Whatever the reason, now you need two new tires. Every year, thousands of people are faced with similar situations, resulting in needing fewer than four new replacement tires. Be an informed consumer. Insist that the two new tires be installed on the rear of the vehicle. Two identical vehicles, but with one big difference. On the white car, the new tires are mounted on the rear, and the front tires are half-worn. On the blue car, the new tires are mounted on the front, and the rear tires are half-worn. Sounds like a subtle difference, but watch what happens when we put them on the road. The new tires have deeper tread and will grip the road and channel water more effectively than the worn tires. As the tires move through standing water, and if the tires with the deeper tread are on the front, the rear tires will hydroplane first. If the rear tires lose traction because of hydroplaning, the vehicle will begin to fish tail. This is the vehicle with the new tires mounted on the front. The car is moving at 45 miles per hour, and as you can see, there's standing water on the pavement. Ideal conditions for hydroplaning. See what happens to the rear of the vehicle? The tires have obviously lost their grip. This is far less likely to occur when the tires with the greater traction are put on the rear. If there's any loss of traction on the front tires, the driver will feel it through the steering wheel and then can make the necessary speed and or steering corrections to reduce the likelihood of spinning out of control. In this comparison, with both vehicles traveling at the same speed, which one would you like to be driving? This is actual footage from a police pursuit. On this car, new tires were recently mounted on the front axle only. These are professional drivers working in controlled conditions. The average driver will very likely be unable to control the vehicle when the rear tires lose traction. Your tires are the only part of your vehicle making contact with the road, and we've just seen how important that contact can be. So remember, when replacing only two tires, don't put your best foot forward. Always put the new tires on the rear.